So one more thing I wanted to do is uh, see if there is something obvious I can do to improve print quality. So some characters get really difficult to read here. Just out of curiosity I took the print head out since it's such an incredible piece of engineering. By the way guys, here's the code plate that does the printing and the coding for the pins. So the, I found that the uh, return of the uh, wires, the pin wires return was really lazy so I'm continuing my disassembly of the print head to see what, you know, what causes them to stick. Alright, so plenty of good news. There's uh, all my pincers there are there. There are no broken ones. Okay, I finally found what made the uh, uh, printer mechanism sticky is the wire themselves. Uh, so and it took me a while to figure a way to get them to work. So here's some I just repaired. You can just pull them out really easily. They come in. They come out. And this one I, I just made two, I think it pops out pretty easily. And then the next one, oh this one I didn't do, so this one I need to do. So you just pop it out. It might be really hard. There you go. Oh this one is super sticky. It it's really painful to get it to move out. And what actually happens is there's ink at the end on it. So I don't pull it completely out. I'll, I'll put you on the side for a second. Then I'll clean it up. Get plenty of ink on my paper. Put a drop of fine oil, sewing machine oil. There you go. I put enough. No, I didn't put enough. Boom. There's a drop and then slowly put it back in and it's still sticky you don't want to kink it so you want to be careful particularly when it's this one's a particularly sticky one and eventually you might have to do that a few times there you go now it goes all right so now it's smooth repaired Rup. all right Unfortunately, I think I backtracked a little bit here when I uh, when I replace the printer. If I print a, let's try to print a series of eights, then seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and it does print. Uh, See, it did print, but last time I tried it was printing garbage. Yes, and it does. Actually, I think I have a clue on uh, why my printing is not printing the right characters. There is actually some uh, logic to it. So if you try here the 8, it tries to print a malform 9. The 7 looks like almost a 5. The uh, 4 looks like a 7 instead. The 3 is almost right, but the 2 clearly prints a 3. And so I summarized uh, what I think it prints instead. And they have a, a nice tool in the uh, manual. And that explains why that is. This is a print plate and on uh, there's a code plate that is used to push the pins and uh, this actually represents the pins I middle holes they have a little template so you can see what character is going to print when you move this and for example uh, four kind of prints a seven it's four so that's four you can see actually the, the figure of the upside down 4, you can see the 4 
uh, and then you move it up one to the right and it's a seven and uh, you can do that pretty much for all the characters and it's always a character right uh, so I think my my plate is just one right so uh, I can uh, try to do it here again as the four and prints a seven instead okay it's getting better actually just readjusted the one of the linkages I took off make it more straight and now an 8 is mostly an 8, a 7 is mostly a 7, a 6 mostly a 6 and so on. I have a few extra punches here. Okay, I'm getting better and better. Now it's starting to be very legible. Oh my, that printing, uh, taking the head apart and doing that scary uh, wire clean and, uh, and uh, printing head uh, dismantle was really worth it. This is what it used to be. And this is what it is now. It's uh, just night and day. All the punches are there. There's not one missing. So this is the whole character set. Everything's printing correctly. You can tell I have still a few very minor issues. I'm missing a punch here. But you know, I think that's uh, good enough for now.